Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for July 19th through the 25th. So I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here? For my Pisces, please, for July 19th through the 25th, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Pisces here? Ooh, the Two of Wands popped out. For my uh, Pisces, please, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Pisces, July 19th through the 25th, please, Spirit. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, crystals. I give away um, dragon's blood incense, which is amazing for clearing negative energy. Um, I give away NIV version Bibles. And if you don't want the Bible, um, you can do like a Joyce Meyer book on how to protect your thoughts, spiritual warfare. Just let me know. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so to enter the giveaway, it's super simple. Just like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced, okay? Um, in the description box below, you'll see an email under how to win. Just go ahead and email me your YouTube name and what you would like to win, okay? Ooh. All right, my loves. So let's get into your pre-shuffle message. So Pisces, what I got in the pre-shuffle was basically the tale as old as time, okay? Um, you're hurting, okay? There's someone here that really disappointed you. You're in a process of trying to heal from that. You're in the process of trying to recover from that little by little as it goes. I mean, I feel like you're suffering because you really str were strongly manifesting and praying for this connection to work, okay? And it didn't. And it was a huge disappointment. But as you you heal, okay, you get stronger, you get stronger, you get stronger, you get stronger. Finally, the day comes where you're emotionally detached. It's over. You're moving on. And who comes charging in? It's a tale as old as time, right? But I, I feel that this person went to go check out the neighbor's yard, literally, I mean, I, I physically, I, I mean, not physically, I mean, I feel like this person actually went to go be with another human being, said, ah, you're not as good as Pisces, and came charging back. But Pisces, I got to be honest with you, like, it's just, it's going to be a shocker, because you're going to be like, are you kidding me? You dropped me like a rock to go be with this other person. And now you changed your mind and you think I'm just going to sit here and, you know, take you back and we're going to start this all over again. The problem here is, is that Pisces, you have taken the time out to learn how to love yourself. And now <coughs> in order for this person to actually come in and get you back, they would have to top the love that you have for yourself. Like, oh, you're going to do this for me? Well, I love myself enough to do that for me myself. I don't need you to do that for me. What else you got? You know what I'm saying? Like they're going to have to do more than love you more than you even love yourself. We have the five of swords here. Okay. So the five of swords under the deck could be a representation of mind games, could be a representation of being defeated, could be a representation of regret because it seems like someone here made an impulsive decision and then they were like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I, I, I moved too quick. I want to come back now. Could be an energy of giving up, feeling defeated. So let's see what we have going on here, Pisces. And it's also like an empty victory. Like someone here may have walked away from you, Pisces, with that really cocky, nasty attitude of, yeah, you know, she's better than you. He's better than you. Yeah, you know, it may have ended like that, like with this energy of, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And now they're realizing the mistake that they made. We have power. Yeah, Pisces, you're taking your power back. You are straight up taking your power back. Um, and now, you know, 
you're not as weak as you were before. They can't just come in and play the same games as before. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Pisces? Second chakra. I feel like you're very confident. You're very passionate here. You're happy. You're happy here. Uh, um, I was about to say cancer. Pisces, you're very happy. What messages do we have here for my Pisces? Adjustments are required. So Pisces, during this time of healing, you realized nothing is going to come of this. If I need love, I need to give it to myself. Okay. And you made those adjustments. You started to love yourself here, Pisces. And now if this person wants to come back, they have to love you the right way because you're not going to hurt or disrespect yourself anymore by letting this person run all over you. We have wedding. If you want to come back, then you need to be fully committed. If you want me to give this another chance, there's no more games here. I mean, we are committed and you better act it because I'm done with the bullshit. Like I'm done, this better be real and I better feel that it's real because if I so much as wake up in the morning feeling like something is wrong or if I go to bed just one night feeling unappreciated or with anxiety, you're out the door. Yeah, you want peace and harmony here. <clears throat> this is the lover's card. You want your perfect counterpart, Pisces. You want someone that is going to match your energy. Do you understand? You want happiness here. There's the sun card. You want happiness, all right? I feel like, you know, you're just done. You're done. You, you want a simple, peaceful connection. And if you're not going to match my energy, if you're not going to match the love that I have to give, then bye, Felicia. Like, you're just done. Boy, bye. Like, you know, done. Increase. Okay. You need more. You need more out of a connection. You need someone to show you that this connection is sacred just the way you see it as sacred. Like I said, if this person comes back, they need to top the love that you have for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let me put it to you this way. People that stay in relationships where they're getting breadcrumbs and they get very, very little out of their connections, which is me, FYI. I'm going to throw myself right under the bus. I have had that problem my entire life, okay? I have never looked at myself enough. I have never paid attention to myself enough or done enough for myself to even begin to love myself. So therefore, in my relationships, people breadcrumb me. They give me so little. And since it's more than what I give to myself, I see it as love, right? And Pisces, what you're doing now okay, is you're giving yourself so much love and attention that if somebody comes in with less love than you have for yourself, you're like, I don't, I don't need that shit. I'm better off on my own. Right? So that's where this person's at now. They have, they have your love, the love that you have for yourself as competition. Gratitude. This person better show appreciation. They better, yeah, perception. This person, the way they view relationships needs to change because this shit, you're done. You've recovered, you've recovered, you've healed, and you've gained enlightenment. And now you want perfection here, Pisces. You're not playing. You are not playing. This person, the way they, they see relationships better change and it better change quick. Because if you do not wake up every day and go to bed every night thankful to have this person in your life because they treat you so well, you don't need it. I don't need it. Let me get some water here before I get started. All right. Justice, Libra energy. This is about karma, Pisces. This is about you made your bed, now lie in it. And that could be good. It could be bad, Pisces. You know, that could be bad. It could be bad. <laughs> Devil. Capricorn energy. This person is paying karmic justice clear as day. Clear as day. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. This person hurt you. This person betrayed you. This person lied to you. And now this person is regretting it. Look at these cards, Pisces. This is unbelievable. Now this person is regretting it. They are in deep regret. This is major karmic justice for what they have done to you. We've got the Hierophant Taurus energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. This person took way, way too long to commit. Way too long to commit. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Now you don't believe a freaking thing that they say. 
there you go. You, there, this person is speaking and you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe a thing that they say. This person was noncommittal. This person betrayed you over and over and over and over and over again, Pisces. And now I'm telling you, justice, devil, five of cups, they are swim, drowning, straight up drowning in regretting on how they hurt you. You're over here. Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Either you've made a final decision or this person wants a second chance. Nine of swords. It gives you anxiety. The thought of giving this person a second chance gives you freaking anxiety. It keeps you up at night. You're scared, Pisces. You are scared that four of pentacles you are holding back because you are scared of this person. That's how much they hurt you. You don't want to deal with that anymore. And with the ace of swords, you're realizing it here. That's the scary part, Pisces, realizing that clarity of, you know, I'm, I'm even, I'm too scared to give you a second chance. This isn't about revenge. This isn't about, you know, screw you. I'm going to do me. This is literally, I am actually scared to go like, it's, it's like, it's like you went through so much to heal Pisces. You went through so much to get away from this person that you have now reached an energy of, I never want to go through that again. I never want to go through that again. We've got the eight of pentacles here. And we have the high priestess, cancer, Piscean energy. I, guys, I feel like you're working on yourselves and you're ascending spiritually. I feel like you're not talking to many people right now. Maybe you're studying, you're looking into manifestation, you're looking into learning something here spiritually. Like you're, you're starting a spiritual journey for a lot of you Pisces. We've got the three of pentacles. And look how both of these people are working, studying. You're putting a lot of work into yourself right now, Pisces. And with the three of cups here, I feel that with that three of cups, I mean, obviously this person wants to reconcile, but I feel like your intuition is telling you to just work on yourself, to just work on yourself. So let's see what, um, let's, let's clarify here. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Pisces today, please, Spirit? So first card, Justice, Nine of Swords. So what this person put you through with the nine of swords here, now they're facing their karma. Now they're going through it. Tell me about this devil. The ace of wands. This person lied. This person cheated. This person maybe had a sex addiction. This person was constantly talking to new people, to new lovers. Tell me about this ten of swords. The devil again. Oh my gosh, Pisces, stay away from this person. Capricorn energy. This person cheated on you with so many different. Oh my God, five of cups and the ten of cups. But now they're regretting it because they miss that stability, that love that you had to give. They know <coughs> this is a person that knew that you were going to be the one. They knew that um, it, it's kind of like meeting a good girl or a good guy when you're in your whole phase type of thing. Do you understand? Like this person knew that you were going to be the one they wanted to have forever with you, but they just weren't ready to commit. This person thought that they could go sleep with the entire state that you're living in or country that you're living in and then eventually settle down. They took too long to commit. Hierophant here with the tower, Aries, Taurus energy. This whole connection has fallen apart because they are just non-traditional. They're not stable. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is what destroyed the connection. The fact that they took too long to give an offer. They took too long to commit. This person caused a lot of pain. <coughs> this person caused a lot of pain. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. The Three of Swords. Yeah, this Queen, you, I feel like you are in Queen of Swords bone here, Pisces. And you have had your heart broken so many times. You just can't deal with it. Page of Wands page of pentacles like this person they come in they're trying to apologize they're making promises you don't believe this person they have broken your heart too many times and there you are pre-empress nine of pentacles you're doing just fine on your own yeah you're doing just fine on your own tell me oh. okay so i was going to say tell me about the judgment card but there you are piscean energy and your divine masculine with the eight of pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So when this person comes in wanting a second chance, Cancer, you have not forgotten that, that you know, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords energy. You will never forget the pain that this person puts you through. 
So they could come in with the Knight of Swords. They could come chase you. They can make all these promises. That Knight of Swords is very dramatic, very, you know, I, this person may be crying or making promises or begging. The Knight of Swords is very impulsive. This is someone who will promise or say anything to get you back. But you know, you know to push it away that it's an illusion. You know who this person really is. You know this person is, you know, a liar. This person is a liar. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So you see, the Queen of Pentacles is a very independent energy. The Queen of Pentacles does not need anybody, Pisces. And you have gotten out of this Nine of Swords energy. You're not there anymore. You're not dependent on this person anymore for love. Do you understand? You're working on yourself. Maybe you've started a business. Maybe whatever it is, you are not no longer codependent on this person. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and that's why you're pushing them away because you're you're scared. Ace of Swords to the King of Swords. You're scared, and you have come to that clarity and that realization that you need to protect yourself against this person. We have the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords on the board, which is a true pair. So this could be a soulmate connection, guys. Um, but, you know, not all soulmates are meant to stay together. Sometimes you have to learn a lesson here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Empress. I feel like you're ascending spiritually. I told you. I felt like that you guys are going already. You went from pre-Empress to Queen of Pentacles on your way to Empress. You guys are ascending spiritually. High Priestess and the world. You're shutting out circles, certain cycles in your life. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. You do not want to work on this connection. And with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups, that's interesting. Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. So look, you guys have a connection here. King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Something that's very cold. There's no emotion here. Very defensive. This is done. The Queen of Swords to the King of Swords has died. Now what you have here is the Queen of Pentacles. And if you continue on your spiritual path here, Pisces, you've got your King of Pentacles coming in. And this is new love. This is going out on a date, having a good time with that Three of, Pen uh, three of Cups there. Yeah, you don't want to work on this connection with this person because you have someone new coming in. You have someone new coming in. Yeah, you're going to move forward. You're going to leave this person on red and you're going to have victory. And you're going to have victory because you know that this person juggles. You know that you could, they cannot be trusted. They cannot be trusted. The challenge here is the chariot, Cancerian energy, and the six of wands. The, cha the challenge here is to stay on course. Now look at this, chariot and six of wands chariot and six of wands so the challenge here pisces is okay for you the challenge is to stay on course and keep choosing yourself and you will have your victory but the challenge is going to be for this person that they are choosing you and they are coming towards you with victory Th these two devil cards are serious this is someone who is obsessed with wanting to get you back okay the outcome here, we've got the Fool and the Three of Wands, Aries energy. You have taken off and this person is waiting for you to come back. This person wants you back. They have not forgotten you, okay? They have not forgotten you, Pisces. Uh, another thing I'm getting is you are taking off to go find what it is that you are seeking, Pisces. You know, you know there's something better out there. And, you know, you are taking that leap of faith to go find it. The Fool card, the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy. You're very confident in yourself. You're very confident um, about moving forward, about this new journey. Tell me about this Three of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Wands. And the star, Aquarian energy. Yeah, you truly believe that your victory lies somewhere else. You're looking at different options here. You're cutting out this person. They're paying their karma for being a butthead. And you're looking at different options. You don't believe anything this person says. And I feel, Pisces, that you feel very strongly that your victory is somewhere else. It's out there somewhere else, okay? And you're being divinely guided here. That star is divine guidance, okay? Um, the divine is, is pushing you to close out this cycle. And you have something beautiful coming in here Pisces okay you have this is beautiful this is going out on an amazing date love at first sight and then we've got that king to that queen of pentacles which is a power couple guys we have a power couple here we've got you know mom dad husband wife the kids a dog you know we've got we've got a power couple there that's a very strong connection king and queen of pentacles all right
All right, my loves, I love you. Ooh, look, you're walking away to go towards your, your king of pentacles, which is going to be a strong Leo energy soulmate connection. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. That is amazing. That is amazing. Look at that, Pisces. You are walking away to move towards this king of pentacles, and this is a strong soulmate connection. See that, the two of cups? Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. Walk away from this person. Walk away from this person, Pisces, um, that you're just, it's an illusion. This person, you just never know where you stand. Close that cycle with the world card, Pisces. Close that cycle. Walk away. This person has options. They treat you like an option. They give you a lot of pain with the three of swords. This person is a player. Leo Sagittarius energy, and you're waking up to that now. You're waking up to that now. You're tired of it. We have that lover's card again, Gemini energy. You're looking at other options. You're looking at other options, and you're healing with that four of swords. All right, guys, I love you. Take care. Bye.